Let us see Stir the Classroom, a cooperative learning strategy. After this session, you will be able to explain the steps of Stir the Class strategy, enlist the advantages and limitations of this strategy. In Stir the Class cooperative learning strategy, the entire classroom gets transformed into a big synergetic think bank. Students move from one huddle to another, thinking together, working together, discussing, sharing of ideas, sharing of opinions and views. Let us see how this strategy functions. Let's have a look at the diagrammatic representation showing us the nine steps of stir the class cooperative learning strategy. Let us look at the steps of the stir the class strategy. Initially, the students stand in a group forming a large circle. The students number themselves. In the third step, the teacher presents a problem to the class. In the fourth step, the students form huddles with their respective groups and start discussing the problem. Once the student reaches a common solution, they unhuddle and stand with their group members in a straight line. Now the teacher announces a number randomly and calls for stir the class. The student with announced number joins the adjacent group. For instance, if teacher calls out number 3, then student with number 3 will step out and move to the adjacent group. The students huddle and again listen to a new member. If new member brings in some new information, then other group members appreciate and congratulate the new member. However, if the information given by the new member is inappropriate or nothing new, then the entire process is repeated with the teacher giving new problem situation and thus the process continues. There are several advantages of this strategy. Stir the class cooperative learning strategy adds to the synergy of the class. Every member of the class gets an opportunity to interact with each other and share new ideas. This strategy breaks the monotony of a regular group activity. By sharing of ideas, the students strengthen their base. As every student gets an opportunity to move to new groups, each student gets appreciation for their contribution. Thus to conclude, in Stir the Class Cooperative Learning Strategy, members are working in a group. In other cooperative learning strategies, the students or the members work in one single group. But in this strategy, students get an opportunity to work in several groups. The groups constantly keep on changing, thus giving an opportunity to the students to understand new perspectives and to build a stronger knowledge base.